two of my very favorite people in the world to listen to are oddly enough Joe Rogan and Gary Vaynerchuk. I know that sounds weird, but let me explain. When I travel, I'm either reading or listening to the Joe Rogan podcast or one of the million videos that Gary Vee has pumped out. Rogan is known as a comedian and for his role in the UFC, and I've watched the UFC since UFC 1 and eventually competed in MMA as an amateur and practiced Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So yeah, I love Joe Rogan. You won't get a lot of business strategy from him, but he is an outside the box thinker and you will learn a lot and certainly be entertained by his podcast. Actually, it's one of the best kept secrets in my opinion. Now Gary Vee, he's the obvious choice for a Gen Xer like me. Incredible immigrant backstory, extremely hard worker, another outside the box thinker, and just as real and as raw as they come. Best known for Wine Library TV and VaynerMedia. So guess what happened? Joe Rogan had Gary Vee onto his show and we got to listen to them both for an hour and a half. I know I sound like a kid talking about his childhood sports hero, but it was great. And of course, I'm going to bring a little nugget on today's show. Gary Vee says something that I believed in and tried to help my friends and colleagues and coworkers with. It's 100% truth and it's so important. I'm gonna give you the hook before I show you the video. Here it is. Figure out what puts you on fire and get tunnel vision with it. Now, Gary V, it's a bit raw, so we'll edit the language for everyone. Here you go. So what should we do, Gary V? Let's wrap this up. Yeah, what should we do? What should people do? People should stop complaining. Right. People good, should figure out call. who the they are. Good call. People should not listen to America propaganda of fixing the they suck at. They should be tripling down at what they're good at. They should be competent in certain areas, but you're not gonna become Beyonce or you know, like your bone structure is a certain way. Like you're not gonna solve everything. Your IQ can get a little bit better, but don't worry about the incremental. Figure out what you fucking puts you on fire and you're halfway decent at. If you're lucky enough right now to be listening and you're good at what you like, become tunnel fucking vision because there's way too many voices telling you what and how. And here's the other thing, and this is the big one, Joe, because you have a humongous audience. The biggest thing that I've seen dividends from, have the conversation with the person that's holding you back. The reason most people who are listening right now are not doing that thing is they're worried about the opinion of somebody, usually their mother, usually their father, and the reality is, is that your spouse may be the person holding you back and you have to have that conversation. Cut them off. We have to get to a place where you're doing you because the number one thing that scares the f out of me is regret. And you're gonna sit there at 72 and you're gonna say, I wish, I wish, I wish. And whether that's money or spend more time with your family, there's a million ways to do this. Not everybody wants to buy the jets. Not everybody wants to smoke weed on the beach in the Bahamas. Like everybody's got a different thing. Figure out what your thing is and stop making excuses. Who the president is, your mom did this. Like, like I missed it. I had that idea for Uber. Then why didn't you do it? Two big nuggets there for real estate and lending professionals. We focus too much on fixing the things that we suck at versus getting tunnel vision on the stuff that puts us on fire. Couldn't agree more. One of the talks I've given is centered around building highly efficient and successful teams. What Gary Vee says is truth and will help you do just that. Build highly efficient and successful teams. Some people are just great salespeople and have no business putting a loan together or structuring a real estate contract. We can either force that person to do it all or we can set them loose with what puts them on fire and build a team around them with associates that are actually passionate about the details and paperwork. Now I'm going long here, so I have to cut it short. Follow Gary V and Joe Rogan. You can be edified anytime, anywhere, by anyone. You just need to be open to it. Did any of this make sense to you today? Let us know down below and we'll see you guys next week.